Modric gets the ball in between the opposition's block, makes himself clearly visible for Kamavinga and calls for a pass. You can see that the passing lane was not blocked or marked. Now as he receives the ball inside the block, taking such a first touch is really important as this allowed him to break the pressing shape and progress an attack. Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will discuss some tips that will help you improve as a center midfielder. To start off, you need to understand that you are required to link the defensive and forward lines. In this example, Real Madrid is transitioning. Notice the spaces available in the midfield. You need to take advantage of those spaces by carrying the ball forward. You can see how Luka Modric is asking his teammates to run forward. You should always avoid backward passes and try to create more threat. If we take this a step backwards, you should read the play properly to be ahead of your opposition to intercept the ball as it is rolling towards your marker. Whenever you do so, if you do not have a clear forward passing option, you should carry the ball forward, dribble through and wait until one of your teammates perform a solid forward run. Making use of the spaces in the midfield during transitions by carrying the ball a little bit before passing it gives your teammates enough time to shift into the attacking phase. The same concept can be applied while building up. Notice how Cruz breaks through the opposition's block while building the attack and wins a free kick. The next thing that you need to concentrate on is your ability to play accurate forward passes. You can see in these examples how the players are going for low, quick and direct passes towards their teammates between the lines. Delivering the ball to any player who is positioned between the midfield and defensive lines of the opposition can always be counted as a progression to any given attack. You can work on improving your passing technique, implement disguised passes, or even go for simple ones. Just remember that you need to create enough threat. You should generally avoid playing backward or horizontal passes, but you should avoid them especially when your team is under pressure. You might have already noticed how many times the players shown in these examples scan before receiving the ball. You can see here that De Jong already had his decision set before the ball was even passed to him. This allowed him to adjust his first touch accordingly as you can see, and despite being mocked by two players, he did not have a problem in delivering a forward pass. Cruz here looks at the opposition in the first scan, and then uses the critical scan to secure a backward passing option if needed. Now that he is not under pressure, he knows which options are blocked, he has a safe backward option, and he finally went for the forward passing option. Now that you saw why one scan only is not enough, have a look at this. Cruz did not perform a scan to locate any forward passing option, as Real Madrid was still under pressure. Yes, Cruz was able to avoid losing the ball himself, but as mentioned earlier, whenever your team is under pressure, going for such passes will not help. In this example, Modric performs his first scan while the ball was still with Courtois, and then he performs the critical scan as the ball was rolling towards him. This allows him to identify where the pressure is coming from, so he takes the strong first touch to get rid of the pressure and progress the attack. This is how it looked like from his perspective. Maybe you're tired of constantly turning into an opponent and losing the ball, or even annoyed at having to apologize to your teammate for making a bad decision. Well, I want to introduce you to an amazing tool to help you avoid this and become a more calm and confident player on the field. Be Your Best is football training in virtual reality. It's made by a team of football and technology experts from Norway. The main skill that Be Your Best trains is your scanning, but it is also used to improve players' vision, decision making and memory, allowing you to train these difficult skills from home anytime you want. In Be Your Best's main training mode, you will play over 800 scenarios recreated from real-life professional games, just like this one featuring Modric. You will be on the field playing the game from a player's first-person perspective. They have also just released a secondary training mode called Match Play which aims to replicate the experience of a real-life game. This mode gives you complete control over your movement both on and off the ball, helping to improve your all-round position awareness. Match play is the closest thing to FIFA that I have seen in the VR world so far, and what's better yet is that it can actually help to improve your game. Now, Be Your Best has been used by both amateur and professional players all over the world, with Arsenal star Martin Odegaard having even trained with it during his injury period. Players who trained with it improved their scan rate by 28%. You can get 20% of your first month or year by using the code MITSUJIO at the checkout. You can find the link in the description down below. To become a complete midfielder, you need to perform your defensive duties. Notice how Man City in this example were stitching the defensive line. Now the fullback is around 70 meters away from the center back. This is where you need to cover when playing as a midfielder. You need to quickly mark any runs performed in that area and also block any passes or crosses inside the box. 
This is called the midfield support, and this is something that every coach assigns to their midfielders in the modern game. Here again, the fullback is 21 meters away from the center back. Notice how many times Luca checks his shoulder to mark De Bruyne in the half space. These continuous scans allowed Modric to alter his run and intercept the ball before De Bruyne gets the ball. We have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but it is worth mentioning again. You need to develop your awareness to be able to intercept such passes in the midfield before the ball reaches your marker. Nowadays, a lot of teams would apply counter pressure right after losing possession. So you need to also be able to keep the possession and counter that. Notice how Cruz fakes this long ball to get rid of the pressure. Now it's recommended to actually go for a long go forward pass to exploit the spaces as Stones was out of possession. Tracking back is also something that you should be willing to do. These efforts will stop your opposition from progressing a counter attack or even just slow them down and give your team enough time to get back. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use the coupon MitsuJR at the checkout for a 10% discount. You need to be loud as a center midfielder. You should be able to convince your teammates to pass the ball to you over simple or backward passing options for example. To gain this level of trust, you should actually progress the attack when you receive the ball. Making such noise is not limited to when you are calling for a pass. You can always direct your teammates and show them where to run in order to create passing options for yourself. Remember that this is one of those possessions that require a lot of runs, so you will not be receiving the ball every time you call for a pass, but keep in mind that any movement in the midfield will ultimately create spaces for your teammates as you pull an opposition out of possession. Between the lines is a statement used to describe the spaces between the midfield and defensive lines, but I would like to expand this concept here to show you that you need to be comfortable when playing inside the opposition's block, whether that was their actual defensive block or while they were applying high pressure. You need to have the same level of creativity in such scenarios that you would have while you are not under pressure. Again, remember that you should avoid losing possession. Luka Modric here was clearly outnumbered. But he made sure he does not lose the ball in such possession. You might wonder how this would help your team. Well, look at this. You have to have at least with one that is really comfortable playing inside the defensive block. If you don't have this type of players and at the end they try to play always out of the block, what is going to happen? That when you move the ball, you're going to move the ball out of the off uh, defensive block. And for them, it's going to be really easy to move together from one side to the other side. In the moment one player has to jump, one player has to do the coverage. If one player is doing the coverage, we have the space behind. Now that you saw why this was important, I would like to thank the Econo Coaches Academy for providing this and would also encourage you to actually watch the entire webinar, as it follows directly with the concepts explained in this video. You can use the code MITSUGR for extra discounts at the checkout. You need to be able to play long passes whenever the opposition is not pressing you. I have highlighted in these examples how the players went for long and forward passes whenever they were not under pressure. This is simpler than the other concepts that we explained earlier, as now you have enough time to raise your head up, identify a forward run and connect the pass. I have mentioned this to remind you that you should instantly think about going for such a long pass when the opposition is not applying the pressure to avoid keeping negative possession. This will also be useful when you drop down to receive the ball from the defensive line. It is your responsibility to sense when your team is not able to build an attack on the ground and therefore you should provide a passing option to your defenders by dropping down and playing the pass yourself. Sometimes switching the play would also be enough to progress the attack. I've made a separate video on this topic that you can watch from the top right corner. Look at how Perlu scans the pitch while the ball is away from him. If we replay that, you can see that Perlu performed the scan exactly in between the touches. That scan allowed him to look at Pogba. He then performs another quick scan to make sure Pogba continued that run. And since Mascherano was not covering the spaces behind him, he decided to go for a long ball. Let's have a look at this from Perlu's perspective. Now that you understand the importance of these scans, try to make use of them after applying them. There was absolutely no reason for Henderson to go back here. You know, playing a backward pass is not difficult. You can have 100% passing accuracy with zero forward passes. That's of no use. On the other hand, if you do not apply any scans or critical scans, you find yourself in these situations where you have to apologize to all of your teammates every time. Let's now move to your attacking duties. 
Whenever the opposition is keeping a compact block, you can always go for underlaps or overlaps. This will force the opposition to stretch the defensive line and therefore your teammates will find spaces inside the block. Your war crate will make the difference here. You can see where Modric started this attack from and where he is calling for a pass now. On the other hand, if you notice an opportunity for your teammate to go for an overlap, you need to delay the attack. This would happen if you are in a deep position or if you are in the half spaces so you pull one defender out of possession. You can hold onto the ball to give your teammates enough time to perform the forward run before passing the ball. When you read the game properly, you will notice such occurrences where the opposition would be busy marking another player, so you would have enough spaces to call for a pass inside the box. And of course, as a bonus, you should always train on shooting from range to counter the low blocks. You can set extra time after training sessions to take a couple of shots as this will take time and practice. If you follow the concepts explained in this video, you'll find yourself in a good position to take one or two throughout the match, depending on the situation obviously. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the analysis. If you did not understand what I meant when I was explaining the critical scan examples, you can watch the full video I have on this topic by clicking on the screen. If you sometimes play in a different position or if your coach is asking you to start playing in one, you will find a video link for each and every position in the pinned comment. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.